right, what's going on ladies and gentlemen? It is Simplistic and welcome back to another video. You know guys, I've been getting real sick and tired of eating regular food every single day. Like really sit down and think about it. We consume the same things every single day. It could be pizza sometimes, sushi sometimes, breakfast food, lunch food, dinner. It's all the same. So today guys, I think it's finally time to switch it up. I hope you guys do enjoy this video. Please drop a like for being different. Comment down below what you think of this video and please subscribe because I'm almost at a million subscribers and your boy is trying to hit a million by the end of the year. I am so close. I think we're at 940,000 right now. So let's keep going strong. So all my simps out there, hit that subscribe button. And uh, you know, the day just started. I think it's time to eat some breakfast. So let's get into it. Boy is feeling mad hungry this morning, but listen, I know what you guys might be thinking. I thought you were gonna switch it up. Why did you pull up to IHOP? That's so basic. Just wait on it. Table for two. Ooh, what do we got here? We got omelets. These low key look pretty good, but that's just a little too basic for me. We got hoppy hour, bro. All right, so we got chicken and pancakes, basic. The classic steak bigger, buttermilk crispy chicken sandwich. That actually is basic. We got the big steak omelet. All these, I can't, man. Get this menu off the table. I low key think I'm gonna have to order something off the secret menu. I think I know what I'm gonna get from here. Um, I think I'm ready to just go for it. Yeah, I'm hungry. Can I get the quick two egg breakfast? Is this the quick two egg breakfast? I don't know about you guys, but I think this looks a little off. It looks good though, nonetheless. Like, hold on, we got the egg right here, sunny side up, two pieces of bacon, and then we got a waffle with a nice piece of butter on it. Low key though, it looks great. All right guys, in all seriousness though, we are doing gummy food for 24 hours and we are starting off with our breakfast here. This is gonna be a really hard challenge. I'm gonna have to eat gummy food literally for the entire day. Whatever meal I eat, it has to be gummy and this is what we're starting off with. Also, I just wanna compare this food to the real thing. So we got the waffle right here. Look at the comparison between these two. That's pretty spot on, right? The butter on here is a little bit more white, but pretty spot on. Then you got the bacon strip. Obviously this one's a little bit more red, but the sunny side up egg, I think that one hit the most. Look at that, man. You can't even tell which one's gummy at this point. But real quick, though, I'm gonna go up to one of the employees and ask if it's supposed to look like this, just to see what they said. Excuse me? Is it supposed to look like this? No? I think I got the wrong order. Excuse me? It's fake. Is it fake? Oh, that's so fake. That's very good. Oh, yeah, that's fake. It looks good, though, right? Oh, uh, yeah, that's pretty good. Well, anyway, we got our egg right here. I think that's what we're gonna hit first. We're definitely gonna need a knife for this because it's super gummy. Oh, man. <laughs> Dude, it's so thick. That's what she said. Oh, man. Let's go ahead and try our egg. I always heard growing up that eggs are super important in a breakfast, so. I'm trying to tell y'all, IHOP eggs are different though. God damn. It's crazy because this yolk isn't breaking. I've never seen an egg with the yolk that doesn't break. It's low-key like coming off of it. Has a bit of a lemon meringue type of flavor in there. All right, so the egg hit. Let's see about the waffle now. I've never seen a waffle have like all these circles in it. I don't know about you guys. First things first, we got to spread the butter. <laughs> All right, let's use the hands, all right? Man's best tool. Yo, that actually tastes like a waffle, though. Like an actual waffle with butter on it. Super chewy, bro. Look at that bite, though. We'll take another bite. Overall, though, breakfast is the most important part of your day, and this right here is gonna get me through the entire day. For our last thing that we have, you can literally just tell that this was just taken off the grill. See those lines right there? I heard every single line is a like. So we have one, two, three, four, five. You should hit the like button five times right now for this. The bacon might be the best part of this whole meal. I'm gonna have to give this breakfast a 10 out of 10 because breakfast, again, is the most important part. Every single part of this meal hit, the egg, the waffle, the bacon. I'm getting kind of full, so let's just wait for our next meal. Yo, so my boy up there said he wanted some, so I can throw it, right? You good? Yeah. All right. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Yo, so it kind of landed in someone else's house. Yo, I think we have to knock on their door, right? I mean, like <laughs> Back here, but yeah. look, like <laughs> Do you see it? Damn. Hey, we tried though. Yo, I'm gonna go knock on their door. All right, well, we tried. <laughs> All right, guys, it's lunchtime. I'm starting to feel hungry again, and I think it's time to take it back to the basics, AKA McDonald's, baby. When in doubt, hit the drive-through, be in and out, and you good. But Loki, I haven't had this in so long. I'm kind of craving just a cheeseburger, some fries, maybe a Coke. Loki sounds bomb. If you guys didn't know, I was actually born out of McDonald's. As you guys can see from my ID right here, McLovin, so I'm official. Just something about looking at a McDonald's menu just makes me happy. That's why they call it a Happy Meal, don't they? How's it going, sir? Can I get a cheeseburger? I'm also get some fries and then a uh, Coke. Seven dollars, dude. That's amazing. You really can't beat that. Order number 103. Let's see how long this takes. 
Psst. One on three. Psst. You need help? You good? Okay, cool. I got my food right here, but I personally don't like when I get plastic cups for drinks. Like, I like mine authentic. I especially love them when they're in a bottle. Ooh, I'm so excited. Ah, it's just nothing like it. So we got here our cheeseburger. Hey, yo, take a look at that though. Yo, McDonald's stepping it up though. That looks amazing. Got the pickles in there, got some lettuce. Look at the bun, bro. It's divided. Yo, McDonald's is really starting to learn some math out here, trying to divide the buns. Just look at the, oh, whoa. <laughs> Why is the tomato shaped like gummy bears, bro? All right, now for real though, let's give it a try. You gotta realize the bottom of this thing is straight plastic. It's not gummy whatsoever, so take it apart a little bit. It's like a little gummy slice. Put some ketchup on there. Got a little pickle, put it right there. And then we got some lettuce. And then let's close it off with another bun. I think that's what you're supposed to do. Mm-hmm. Now that hits the spot. Ah, oh, they actually have a real tomato in here. Didn't even see that. All right, now that we absolutely devoured some of our cheeseburger, we also got some other stuff, obviously. Can't forget about the McDonald's fries. Are they salting them a little different nowadays? Stretchiest fry I've ever had. We got some ketchup, by the way. Oh. Put some ketchup on the fry, hold on. Never had to do it like this, but... It's amazing. That's probably my favorite part about McDonald's is the fries. Definitely my go-to. All this food got me feeling a little parched. Luckily, we got a Coke. Officially branded by McDonald's, right here. Oh, sh Bro, I just pulled a Steve will do it on that Coke. You know, usually people drink Coke, but a little different. Just took the top off real quick. See how fizzy it is on the back though? I don't know about y'all, but this is a meal and a half. Absolutely amazing. Probably the best McDonald's I've ever had, to be honest. But all this food, I feel like it's not gonna fill me up. I feel like we need something else. Bro, it's my third day on the job. Oh, it's your third day here? Yeah. Well, let me introduce you. This is a McDonald's burger right here. So let me put it together for you. I got you. A little ketchup on there. Put a little pickle. You like pickles? Yeah. You want my pickles? All right, cool. Yes, sir. Fire, right? It hit? Obviously, if you want some fries, bro, I'll be hitting these too. Low-key gas, bro. I mean, you're gonna get to know these way more because it's your third day out here. You just came in, I, was, I don't know who you were, and I looked at him and I was like, damn. Shout out to Terrence. You know, guys, that McDonald's meal hit the spot, but it didn't fill me up, so that's why. We're at Little Caesars Pizza. It's always hot and ready. Let's go inside and get one. Uh, just a quick question. It is hot and ready, right? Yeah. Like, 100%? 100%, because we just cut it right now. Oh, you just cut it right now? <laughs> there's no gimmick, though? Like, right now, you can see over there, it's like there's a pizza. It's it's ready coming out right now. Uh huh. That's gonna be the hot and ready for here. So order. if I order, it's gonna be hot. It's gonna be hot. And it's gonna be ready. It's gonna be ready. And yeah. can I pay for whatever they want behind me? What do you guys want? Pepperoni pizza. Can we just get a pepperoni pizza? Hey man, trying to make a difference. Ew. Of course. Oh, that looks amazing, bro. Damn. Hey, bro, you killed you it. Me. Hey, you got me there. With what? Hey, you know what? Huh? Are you serious? Yeah. Thank you, bro. Thank Have you. a good one. You too. Wow, what a good guy, man. So what happened was when me and Christian were filming the first time we went in here, the mic was off, so we were like, oh, f we gotta go do that again. And then we actually ended up giving the pizza we had to someone outside, and he saw that, and he's like, yo, here's a real one. But the real one's cool and all, but I feel like we have to have the, you know, the better one. So let's go try it. Ooh. Hey, yo, hold on. Let's just admire this right now. Jalapenos, some ketchup, some pepperonis. I don't know why there's an egg, but uh, let's get a slice, man. Looks amazing. That's the crust right there. Let's take a nice, healthy bite of that. Amazing. Oh, it's kind of hot. It's burning my tongue, bro. Nonetheless, fantastic, actually. It's like mini pizzas within the pizza. I, say, I think that's a pizza itself, right? Let's just try this one. Bro, it's actually hot. Nonetheless, amazing. Oh my God. I ate that whole pizza, guys. It put me in a food coma. And I'm still not full. This is insane. Your boy's really trying to bulk up out here. You know, a long time ago, I went to a 7-Eleven, AKA where we're at right now, and I tried the sushi here. It was disgusting. I'm just curious to see if they improved their sushi since the last time we came here. So hopefully they did. This looks way better than the last time I tried it, bro. It's a whole platter this time. I think last time they sold them in like small rolls and that roll tasted like if we crumbled up plastic and put it in a blender. So with this new addition, this looks great. It came with soy sauce, I think this is a rainbow roll, bro. Some edamame. Loki looks like a shrimp. Let's tear this bad boy open. Look at that glisten, bro. All right, let's start off with the salmon roll. Damn, look at the inside of that thing. It really looks like they just caught it out the ocean. Wow, this might be the best thing I've tried all day. Dude, that's crazy. I can actually smell like the crab. Like you smell the crab, right? Yeah. All right, Christian, let me know. What wow. you think? <laughs> that's 10 times better than what we tried last time, bro. It's actually good though, right? No, that's good. It's actually bomb. Like... I'm about to hit one of these little guppies, bro, real quick. Damn. That was chewy as God. 
Damn. Look at the inside of that one though. You see the guts and everything? Yeah. You know how rare these are to find in the ocean? One in every sailor says it's like 25% chance. The fact that they even have it on this plate right here just shows me the dedication 7-Eleven put into this. I'm telling you, I think this is a shrimp. Let's dip it in the soy sauce. Look at that. Wow, look at that dip. It's buzzing. Yeah? It's buzzing for real. What is that, a sea urchin? Yep. Ooh. You got crunch, bro? You hear that crunch? I don't think I like the sea urchin, bro. Nah. Mm -mm. All right, last roll I'm gonna try. Whatever this is. See the seaweed on the side, though? That one's insane. That one's crazy. 10 out of 10, 7-Eleven. You made up for what you did to me last time. All right, but as you guys can see, I had to change of clothes because your boy's going to a Dodger game today. Growing up, baseball was my life, and it still kind of is. I just don't watch it as much, but there's a lot of good food in Dodger Stadium. But before we go there, we're stopping by another favorite place of mine, the Michoacana. The Mexican in me wanted some horchata. If you don't know what an elote is, it's basically corn on the cob with mayonnaise, tahine, cheese, all of that. It holds a very special place on that Dodger jersey of mine. I don't know if you guys can hear that, but they got the air blasting in here. It's always like that. You always just hear but just don't mind that. Mind this. This is the elote right here. Let's take a look at it. Bro, look at that. Look at the consistency. It's almost like rubber. But I'm actually going to walk you through how I make my elote. I actually have a real one right here. So if mine doesn't look like that after, I failed. Let's work our magic. You guys might think this is a weird combo, but trust. Yup. Look at that. Oh my god, bro. Got the mayo on there. Next, I think this is some like lemon juice. Chili powder, essential. Tell me I'm not snapping, bro. And then we got some tapatio. Time for the comparison. Also, I got an horchata, guys. Didn't even know if I mentioned that. Which one would y'all eat? The real one or the fake one? Super scared to try it, but let's give it a go. Let's eat the real one. For once, it didn't slap today. I made it correct, don't get me wrong. It was just the base that we went wrong with. It's gorgeous. Look at my city, man. This is also where they shot Fast and the Furious in one of the movies, so I just wanted to show you guys a piece of history and how beautiful this was, but we're also at Dodger Stadium. So we're about to head in there right now, and Loki, I'm not even going for the game. I love the Dodgers, don't get me wrong. I'm actually going for the food, because they do have Dodger dogs in there. All right, so we just got to the game right now. Just take a look how beautiful this looks, guys. These not even my seats, though. So the Dodgers are actually playing the Angels today. That's like a rival team of theirs. It's kind of crazy. I'm going to be completely honest with you guys. These aren't even my seats. I kind of just sat here. My seats are all the way up there, but you know. So you move seats too, right? Your, your seats are above us right now? Our seats are up there, man. <laughs> like 30-something plugs. Look at the price right here. Like $500, 700 for two seats. We can't be doing that, bro. Can't be doing that, can't be hey, do great views right now. I'll hey, tell you that. the finesse game's strong. It was all cool. Right. Yeah. I'm going to keep going down. Hey, try to get as far as you can. I got you, bro. All right, <laughs> all right those seats were cool, but I low-key want to go closer. I paid like $40 for my regular seats but i'm about to go sit in about like 1200 seats one thing i forgot to mention though is the dodgers are actually known for their hot dogs and they are so bomb so i'm definitely gonna have to get one of those the game is getting intense bottom of the fourth the dodgers are up by four bro who do you think's gonna win i think dodgers. hey yes sir we're convincing them one by one yes you can you have a dodger jersey on nice to meet you bro hell yeah how you doing bro chilling you a Dodger fan? Yes. Okay, good, good. I swear, I'm just trying to get the best seats possible right now. My goal is to get on the field. This is sick. Yeah. Thank you. Now we're just in some random dugout club. I think we just found ourselves some food. So out of all this food, we got a Dodger dog. Why is it splitting like this? I don't know. Let's take our first bite of the beautiful Dodger dog we have here. <laughs> this challenge is super hard, guys. I really wish I could just have a real Dodger dog, but I have a question for you guys. Does food smack or does it slap? I've been seeing this debate go all around the internet. Does it smack or does it slap? Let me know. It's so chilly, bro. So good, guys. I love Dodger Dog. All right, guys, this is probably going to hold me for the rest of the game. I don't know how we're down here right now at all. This is literally the most exclusive club in Dodger Stadium, and we kind of just walked down here. All right, guys, so this is water, by the way. I never said anything about drinks. This is a gummy video challenge. I think I'm able to drink this, right? Cheers, guys. The water here is phenomenal. Yo, guys, not to be on some weird shit but we're actually sitting next to someone that I met before. There's a lot of celebrities that sit down here, but look at this picture. That's me in 2016 right there. Not on some weird shit. Sorry, guys. I just have to show you how crazy this is because it's one of my first Instagram pictures ever. W Riz right now. Watch this. Just take a look over there. Yeah, that's crazy. Also, take a look at my back. See, that's Justin Turner right there, right? Look at my boy. 
Absolutely beautiful. All right, y'all, we accomplished our goal. I paid $40 for my seats. Snuck into the clubhouse, and now we're behind home plate. We're literally touching the dirt right now. This is beautiful. What a handsome fellow. All right, guys, I just got back from the Dodger game. It was a super fun day, but honestly, I'm having some late night munchies. I actually just ordered some Chinese food, and it just got here. So as you guys can see, your boy got himself some noodles. Let's just crack it open, man. It looks amazing already. But just take a look at the noodles themselves, man. It looks amazing. All I need is some soy sauce, to be honest. I never tried noodles from this spot before, but honestly, it's hidden. What else do we got in here? I don't know what this is. I really don't know what that is, but okay. That one's hard. I think I'm just going to go for another noodle. Now oh, that's good. And you guys already know we got to finish it off with an egg. Yeah, this one's super chewy. I'm <laughs> Overall, 10 out of 10 noodles. But anyways, I hope you guys did enjoy. Please drop a like and subscribe down below. I am almost at 1 million subscribers, so please get me there. And before we end it off, we have to have a little dessert before I go to bed. So got myself a blue pie with some whipped cream on it. I love you guys so much. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace out.